Recently, the prices of coal and natural gas has been incredibly increased, so many customers are inquiring biomass boilers. Some customers are asking that if they can use their own coal-fired boiler to fire biomass. There are many kinds of biomass, such as wooden blocks, wood chips, sawdust, rice straw, rice husk, corn cob, palm fiber, etc. Can we use all of them in the biomass boiler? Some of them must need some treatment. But how much those treatments cost? Let's have a look. How could the biomass fuel burn well? Firstly, it should be easy feeding. Secondly, it should be easy burning. For example, the boiler should first eat this fuel and then digest it. Firstly, let's see how the biomass feed into chain grade's boiler. We can see that the biomass falls through a long and channel hooper, which requires that the size of the fuel should be less than 5 cm. Two big sides will be plugged at the feeding gate. What if we want to burn big wood blocks in the boiler? Very simple. A wood crusher will break the blocks into small wooden chips which can be easily entering into the boiler. And the crusher price is economical. The power consumption is also acceptable. Secondly, the fuel should have fluidity, which can fall on the grate along the hopper and move with the grate. For example, wood blocks, wood chips, and rice husk can be adopted. But there are some biomass materials such as palm fiber. It's loose and light. It cannot fall down on the chain grid by itself. It will be plugged at the feeding gate. For this kind of fuel, we suggest to use a hydraulic feeding system to push the material into the grid. We call it force feeding. However, the price of force feeding system is expensive, which can increase the boiler price by 10%. Till now, we can see that almost all biomass fuels can be put into a chain grade boiler. So do you know how to choose a biomass now? If you have any questions, please contact us. Thank you.